If you ever wanted to judge women based on their bodies, then this is the video for you. Hi sisters, today I'm going to be talking about a video from a YouTube channel called Nectar. They have 330,000 subscribers and this video is called Blind Dating Six Women Based on Swimsuits Versus One. Now I don't really know what this means. Like what's this going to be involving? I'm very, very excited to figure it out. Okay, cool. My name is Max Cohen. I'm 20 years old, studying applied math and minoring in computer science. Oh, so he's a nerd. Oh, so he's a little loser nerd, I guess. I'm a little bit confused why he's in a bathing suit. It's not like the women can really see him, but that's okay. I think it's funny though, because that mic is not hidden in the slightest. It's just directly on his chest. And you know that it pulled off his hair just a little bit when doing this. My name is Max Cohen. I'm 20 years old, studying applied math and minoring in computer science. And I do some modeling for Wilmina. I write a bit of poetry. I have a collection published. You do modeling and you also are a poet. Cool, man. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm also an astronaut and I have a six pack. So if we're going to be doing these kind of things, then that's fair. Um, you saying that you have a collection of poems published is probably on the same level as Gabby Hanna's fucking book. Yeah, we have uh, shorts from Italy, some very beat. Uh, new balances. Honestly, if I would go to the beach, I'd probably have Birkenstocks on. That's usually what I do, but I forgot. Can't lie, I forgot. Feeling good. It's a little cold in here, but you know, it's, it's, it's a good day. Good sound effect. Nectar. You know who makes Nectar videos? Jubilee, I guess, has a subsidiary called Nectar. It, it's very, very interesting and somewhat frustrating that they are a full media conglomerate. Okay, damn, okay, two matching ones. That's that's something. I like the first choice. You got Wait, hold up, I'm sorry, but I think Hannah has those as well. I think those are like Target specials. <laughs> Adidas, sandals, Target, I don't know, crystal. This girl's a crystal girl. Long toes, short toes, regular toes. Cool. Choice, you got some nice colored nails. Everyone else kind of went with the white, which I respect being bold. Losers. You're keeping it so casual and I love it. The six girl, keeping casual. And, and you have the anklet on. And last girl, I like the tat, it's sick. Yeah, I like your tat. I also love your toes. Sorry to say it, but I love your toes. This is genuinely like a weird kink thing. I feel like this would be on P-Hub. Okay, um, here's a hypothetical. You're at the beach, it's like a nice day like this, and your friend brings a speaker, right? What do you play? First song, contestant number one. Uh, My neck, my back. Is that bad? No, it's definitely my neck and also my back. There's also, can we talk about this sandbag right here? What the fuck is going on here, man? Actual cum stains. Actual cum stains. Our contestant's crazy. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes, so I will accept the rose. Probably, honestly, anything by Mac Miller. Probably kids. Uh, awesome. Mm. Love that so much. Great, great stuff. Ugh. Number two. I might go with Beach Vibes too. Kind of on some Bob Marley type. Ugh. Kind of okay. vibey. Number three. R&B, like soft R&B music, so that's probably what I will play. Who's your favorite artist? As of right now, ooh. Stumped you. Damn, tough. <laughs> Number four. Let her finish. This guy is definitely a guy who does not let women finish. But what a fucking fascinating <laughs> like concept for a show. I don't get what's going on here. Like there's this weird dynamic between him and the women where it's like, hey, I can see your toes. You can't see anything of mine, but I'm going to judge you based on everything going on here. And also your music preferences, except if you can't think of your music preference within the first five seconds, you're fucked. Uh, um, number five. Cruel Summer, Taylor Swift. <laughs> you were ready for it. That's good. Decisive. Awesome. I feel like Is anything by like Cherub um, or 1975, Tim okay, Paula, I, that's I, a vibe. Red flags. Yeah. Um, I'm going to probably be putting on some old school R&B soul, like The Dream or All right, let's Usher. hear your favorite artist. Like The Dream or Usher? She just said soul music. <laughs> Wait, I thought she was going to say like Marvin Gaye, Bill Withers, something along those lines. But no, 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 no. Usher, the classics. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said The Dream or Usher. Anything okay, like that. cool. Like, I like really that. Weird. Yeah, Usher's classic. Awesome. Jesus, this guy. I feel like if I was on this show, I would be like out there roasting and toasting. You know what I mean? It is so funny to me that there's nothing going on. You know, he is just completely like gone. Maybe he's high. Oh, you know, I feel so sad, right? So I'm like, get out of here. But um, going off the limited information I have, which one of you guys couldn't couldn't find your favorite artist? That's me. Number three. Okay, uh -oh. three. just because of that, like I tried. Couldn't make it work and wish you the best. I actually just realized this guy looks like Ben of the Week without any talent. Uh, like, Am I wrong? I tried, 
couldn't make it work and wish you the best. Can I see the women? I would like to judge the women by how they look, please. Hi, how are you? Dude, you really fumbled the bag with this one. That was a baddie, a 10 out of 10 baddie, dude. What's your name? Lily. Lily, nice Lily. Nice you don't have a favorite artist? What I happened? Oh, you got me nervous. I know, right? Oh my God. I know, I don't blame you. It's it's tough, but. Yeah, but it's my fault for going to the so dog it. You know what? Hey, good on you. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna have to limit the one who said 1975. Cause like, I just don't, I just don't like him like that. And I don't remember, which contestant was that? That's me, number six. Number six, I'm sorry. Oh, no, she had a sick what leg tattoo. 1975 is a good vibe though. I mean, yeah, but also Maddie Healy's a fucking loser. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't hate it. It's just, it's been oversaturated for me. I'm sorry. Uh, that's fair, that's I don't fair. think I can take it at the beat. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, she's a certified baddie, dude. That's how I picture all the men watching this. They're all sitting next to their friends like, this guy fumbled the bag, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I hope I turn into like this frat person character that I've been wanting to be my entire life, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I'm, you. I'm gonna hold that against you. I know you should. I'm the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Like, I just feel like a horrible person. Yeah, you're gonna get stuck with the fucking ogres. I literally hope that you have a big uggo. Name of the game. We're ruthless out here. Sorry, somebody who's really ugly. That was not like, not like a big uggo. Like, sigh. I mean, just like a really ugly person. Like, an inherently just a really bad person to look at. Somebody that hurts your eyes. Okay. Okay, I see some cover-ups, I see some- Oh, they're bottoms. Whoa. <laughs> We're looking at lower halves. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Also, what a very uncomfortable thing to like, just do in general. You're like, okay, so we've got, you have legs, you have legs. You also have a belly button, okay. Um, You have a vagina. I'm sorry, you have a vagina. Off bat, denim skirt, crazy choice to the beach, but I like it. Yeah, let's just go down the line. What do you do for work or what are you doing in general? Uh, right now I go to school, I go to UCSB. Um, I'm a theater and political science major. So you're gonna ask them to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you mind uh, doing a little spin for us? <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. The Botanic Gardens in Santa Barbara, so. Really? That's yeah. so cool. It's um, really fun. I was going to Santa Barbara this weekend, actually, but. Let's uh, go together. I, I wanted to, but no one can care for my cat. So I was like, oh. man locked here. <laughs> All right, contestant number two. Okay, can I just say something? Like, as a little uh, editor's note, can we have the shots of the women talking as a little bit of a zoom out, please? There's something about the just immediate crotchal region shot while they're talking that bothers the fuck out of me. I know you made a comment on the skirt but i'm big into styling and fashion that's Wrong. what i do so no. you know the beach it's not exactly wants to see more fit, skin you know i agree but you should always i could put you on I you can, can put me you. on yeah i could dress you don't think you. i have fashion sense i haven't seen you yet i'm just saying you that's know so rude. I could... that's so rude uh do you know how to queef that's so rude can you queef on command for me or what i'm sorry and th that may be rude but i was just wondering oh it's okay all right because that's number three i work and i go to school what are you uh what are you in school for I'm trying to become a nurse a nurse yeah. that's very cool um number four i'm an engineer at a a rocket factory no <clears throat> sorry women can't do that i like guys i come on in what world is that a possibility that women can we're gonna rocket that's a boy job print like 3d rockets that's so cool yeah. that's actually awesome i love that i don't even need to hear anymore uh <laughs> sorry. number five um i'm currently a tattoo apprentice full time well, well how did you um get into that Ooh. <laughs> literally goes woof after he hears tattoo apprentice that's awesome well my dad actually used to tattoo like family and friends for extra cash when I was young. Growing up, he used to like, teach me how to draw and color, so I just decided to go down the more artistic path. That's awesome. Who who did your tat? My mentor, actually. All my tats are done by my mentor. That's amazing. Very cool. Right. Yeah, and maybe if you wait a little bit more, it will push up this little curtain and you can see a little bit more skin and more of my tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? It's just like tits and face. Are there different stages? I mean, let's see. Elimination, boobs, face. Oof, boy, oh boy. Looks can be deceiving. Listen, I've learned that. I've been with lots of ladies in my past. Looks can be deceiving. Sometimes they can have a banging bod, but their faces are like zeros. 
All right, number one, what are you looking for in a partner? Um, I want somebody that's fun. Like, I want to have fun being with them and somebody that's funny. Yeah. Um, somebody that's open to learning. What am I supposed to look at? I'm trying to look at her hands because, like, I've seen enough crotch. I'm not going to look at the toes. We've already seen the toes, queen. Sorry. But, like, kneecaps? I am. I'm going to be honest. I'm jealous of the kneecaps. My kneecaps are covered in scars. What? My eyes are automatically drawn to the, the bright yellow thing. And I know that that's really scummy and weird, but where the fuck are your eyes? going dummy things um somebody that's really sweet mm -hmm. um and caring and you know oh yeah just like a cool person how many guys do you think are jerking to <laughs> us but i want to have fun too though Beautiful. so yeah um number two kind of in an opposite nature i kind of like when people aren't exactly like me it brings out different things in me makes me want to experience i want to date things, my twin things your way uh-huh you know see a little bit of you very cool very cool <laughs> very cringe. i have to find someone that i could learn from and uh, someone that brings me out of my comfort zone. No. I want to go out, I want to no. go on hikes. Mm -hmm. I want to go, like, we're talking about the beach and stuff. So let's go there too. Let's, let's go, go out surfing. Let's, let's go, go out, surfing. bring out boogie boards and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Number four. Uh, I need someone to banter with. Cringe. I'm sorry. I need someone who's good at the top quarterly bants. I need someone who can banter around with me. <laughs> oh my God. I need not someone who's funny. I need someone who's got the good bants. Banta. I'm right here, lady. Inappropriate jokes. <laughs> um, and just someone who- What kind of inappropriate jokes? Has really Racist jokes? Has communication skills and a gym partner. A gym partner. Very yeah. cool. Oh, you. how long are you going to the gym for? How long? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess since college. Okay, cool. Yeah, Very yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, but if you don't have a dedicated routine like five times a week, two times a day, I'm a model and a poet. Thank you very much. Was that a crazy question? I that, like was, that was. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's like, uh, like uh, kind of like how long you work out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. What you bet? Right, 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 right. uh, I really want someone that's transparent with me, able to communicate, and then someone who is spontaneous because I will literally do anything. I'm like to be at home, but I love to be outside as yeah. well. And then just someone who could just bounce off my energy and I bounce off theirs so we can just flow with each other throughout wrong. the time together. Very wrong. That sounds gas. Yeah. As much as it hurts me to say, I think contestant number five, I'm gonna let me for one reason, okay? Oh. You said you're in school for tattooing and I have a tat, when I got it, I wanted like a million more. And I'm scared just like being in proximity to someone who can Bro, just make that. Bro, no, no, but she's so hot though. Did you forget about the hot factor? I feel like we uh, forgot about the hot factor, dude. I've only got the tattoo artist. I mean, uh, you should get some more tattoos. Maybe you'll be cooler like me. So accessible. I would like wind up from like my my ankle to my, to my head for that reason. I'm sorry. Oh, she's a baddie. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even look. Oh, uh, she's a certified sincere? baddie, nice. dude. Oh, a hug. Oh, a hug, okay. It's a oh, ew, ew. Why'd you try to hug her after voting her out? Her tattoos are cool, though. Uh, sincere. It's not very sincere of him to assume that there would be a hug involved. She tries to shake the hand. Oh, a hug. Oh, oh that's okay. awesome. It's okay. I just like eliminated you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah, avoid. no, it's okay. Yeah. But I mean, I could have hooked you up and I could have. Like, I know, right? I need, I need some more. I only yeah. have one. Maybe next time. Maybe, Maybe you can next. hit me up for what? Maybe so. Awesome. Dude, she was a certified <laughs> Sorry. I have to say that every time. This was a very She's got to vote on a second person. I took weeks contemplating it and I think. Ultimately, I've reached a conclusion. I think there might be a personality clash there. So, um, contest number three, your shoes. I would never wear anything bedazzled for that reason alone. Can you can see in her body language, she's like, what the fuck? Excuse me? Listen, I would never wear anything bedazzled. Well, you're two different people. I'm sorry, but you're two different people. Is that okay? <laughs> you can have two different preferences. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I respect the choice. I just couldn't do it. I think like it would just... I'm I'll sorry. went to the beach without you. <laughs> As you should. As you should. I'm so sorry. Let me make them flat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's your name? Daisy. Nice she you seems nice. It's Max. I'm so. sorry. Hey, you made it to the last four. Yeah, well. <laughs> hey, you made it to the final four. Oh, there were six contestants? Interesting. Fuck, dude. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> hey, you made it. To what? I was the third to last person. <laughs> So hard. She was a certified baddie. Okay, I see. Number two. I, was I don't even know what to say. 
<laughs> B-E-W-B-S is what I'm seeing on the screen. I was expecting a cover up on top because like you had the well, jean shorts on. This is but... like as if I was already, you know, I'm kind of at the beach. If you're already at the beach, or okay. Or maybe like we like left to go like get something to eat real quick. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's, it's like so valid. Out. I'm colorblind, so oh, not no. really like, really? it's kind of tough. Uh, you said these blacks and these whites. Uh, uh, not black, white, colorblind. Really? I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm colorblind, but I'm not colorblind. I'm going to be honest. I put on the Logan Paul uh, colorblind saving glasses and was cured. <laughs> but um, I like the first one. The gradient is doing something. I like it. Thank you. The gradient is doing something. Good job, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like the gradient is definitely there. Um, it seems like the gradient. Is, we're in the presence of of gradient. Ugh. Um, and it matches your nail color. So. Thank you. Yeah, I try. Wonderful. Um, number two, I like it. A little like, I don't know if that's white or if that's pink. It's, yeah, baby pink. Yeah. Baby pink, amazing. Uh, does it match your toes or am I- Does it match your toes or am I wrong? Hey, do you mind if uh, I can see your toes again up close? I'm colorblind. Hey, sorry, I'm colorblind. Do you mind if I get a sneak peek of those toes? A little sniff, a little whiff? Um, no, the toes oh, are white. Uh, you know what, my minus, mom's, my minus, mom's minus colorblind points too. for that, I'm oh. sorry. That's Bro, he is such a fucking like LA guy. I'm sorry, but everybody in LA has the exact same mindset and they're all trying to be famous in the worst way possible this guy will not let this poor woman talk um no the toes oh, are white don't. you uh, know what my minus, mom's minus, my mom's minus minus points for that i'm oh. sorry that's Fuck. okay all right third one i like it oh my god what and then he just moves that? on you're trying to quiz me now i'm, like, just I'm, asking. The, one, I'm the one <laughs> asking the question oh, sorry sorry <laughs> no uh what color is that um that's like blue right oh my god oh, yeah <laughs> go no. this guy's a jokester Dude, this guy is a jokester. This is like blue, right? And then he goes, no, yeah, I know it's yellow. I lied, I'm not colorblind. I'm a serial manipulative liar. Yellow, I'm not Thank actually you. that. Wait, so yeah, did no. you lie about being colorblind? No, I'm oh. like, I'm not oh, okay. black. Okay, There's okay. ranges of colorblind. I know, my mom's colorblind. Oh, really? Yeah. That's bad. That means like Why? your kid's probably gonna be colorblind oh. too. Damn, that's tough. It might be recessive. Enough recessive, eventually it comes through. You don't wanna take a chance? You're I'm getting kidding. a little too I'm fast kidding, here, okay? I'm There's kidding. still eliminations to be had. <laughs> You're moving a little fast. I'm gonna be honest. Slow down a little bit. Can we stop? Stop. Seriously. Okay. Yeah, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, tell me about past relationships. Well, I've had like some like situationships kind of. No. I think it's really hard for me to. If you're not find a virgin, he won't like date you. With. And it doesn't have to be like super crazy. Like you don't have to be exactly like me. And I think I just really know that my morals are really, really important to me. Yeah. I think a big thing I always thought was like how people treat people that serve them. Like yeah, that's a big one. Sure. Especially also the way people treat animals, honestly. Because yes. a lot of people be like, you can just- They're crazy. They're they are. And they put up a front first and then you-, you But see you see them. their two colors when they- Yeah, I also love puppies. Yeah, I love women and I love puppies as well. And I need you to know that, okay, I'm gonna save a puppy and be yours. Off guard, exactly. I guess that's how you say it. But no, it's very valid. What kind of person do you think like doesn't stop work for asking you? him questions? Honestly, um, lack of communication. That's that, I think that's probably the biggest like deterrent for me because when people they bottle stuff up, it usually tends to come out in a lot less healthy of a way, right? Um, number two. I've only really been in one serious relationship. How long was that? It was almost two years. Ooh, so, that is serious. You know, okay. good, yeah. good a little amount of time, but mm -hmm. no experience or no connection is a waste of time. Even if it didn't end up how you wanted it to, yeah. I feel like you learn something no matter what. You take something away, or you still spent like a good amount of time with someone, and it was good for what it was, you know? Not true. It was a waste of life. <laughs> That's my mindset now. It is something that you pride yourself in that not a lot of people know about you. Anyone I meet, I see them as a potential friend, and no matter uh, where someone's from, no matter what they've been through, no matter how they look, I just see them for a human and that's who they are. No, no. You're good with animals. You're good with puppy dogs, but you're judging everybody on looks. <laughs> Number three. Um, my last relationship, it was pretty serious. Two's gone. But we were in a long distance relationship. That sucks. He that wanted sucks. to grow in his 20s. So, Ooh, you know, I, I support it. Flag. I support it, but yeah. That means you want to see other girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She said, you said, I'm going to put that salt in that wound. I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, right I'm now. sorry. That, that sucks. Long distance usually yeah. doesn't work out. Yeah. So what do you do when you know you're about to do something impulsive? What do I do when I know I'm about to do something impulsive? I feel like. <laughs> Doing something impulsive implies not knowing you're about to do it. Some it's people like know. a paradox, but um, life is life and you don't know what's gonna happen. The ball rolls, you either try to resist it and get put under it or like you just 
ride with it, right? And I choose to live that way. So you do nothing. I do nothing. Yeah, I'm boring. I'm horrible. <laughs> I don't like him. I feel like if you confront him about anything, he's like, yeah, I'm fucking horrible. Yeah, I get it, guys. No, I'm really, really terrible. I understand. <laughs> Completely narrow it down, like, to end this. Um, you're in Venice Beach, okay? Uh, walking down the boardwalk, and you're stopped by someone who says, please listen to my mixtape. What do you do? Number one. Um, curb stomp them. Yeah. There's a lot of rappers that have come up like that. So I'm not just gonna let him go. No, you're gonna like, give him the time of the day. Yeah, I mean, it depends. If I'm in a rush, like we're going to the beach, we're going. Yeah. But like, if my friend really wants to I'm sorry, misogynist Jake here. What do I look at? I'm trying to look at her hands, but she has two hands. Her belly button? Like, what is going on? You can't look somebody in the eyes. You know what I've noticed myself looking at is like the tips of her hair, because that's the closest to like where her eyes would be. We're listening to that mixtape. We are playing it over. We're analyzing the lyrics. Hey. We're going on Genius and we're seeing what that's about. I, I I love your enthusiasm. And I love the fact you think it, the lyrics are going to be on Genius. Yes. For a, a I'm uploading them. Events. It's me uploading them. Oh, you will. You're going to like transcribe it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Great answer. Uh, number She's two. nice. You can't shoot people down before they're up. Like, you got to give them a chance. So it's going to take me, what, like 30, 30 seconds, a minute to hear at least a little bit of it. Yeah. One <laughs> eye for each hand. That's that. funny. All right, number three. I'm going to say hi. I respectfully decline. Um, <laughs> That's what I But you can That's give me your Instagram yeah. and I'll maybe take a look, but yeah. I probably won't. Amazing. Perfect. That's my answer too. You guys are way too nice people. Like, hey. I, would just, I, I walk, don't want to be I walk mean. right past them and I act like I didn't hear them. <laughs> True. I walk right past those losers. They're not making money yet. They're not making money yet. But when they're at the top, then I'll reach out. <laughs> It kind that's of depends. If they have a crazy look in their eye, that's different. Right. This they might be it's Jay Venice. Cole. Everyone has a crazy look in their eyes. This is the end. We made it, guys. Fuck. All of us. We all did this. Um, They're I all going to be certified baddies, bro. Number two. Did you have a long relationship? Called it. You did, right? Called it. You did have a long Called relationship. It. I don't know if I'm at that point right now. Like, oh, you said I was. I know. Yeah, I, like I, what you just mumbled. I agree. Oh, um, <laughs> what? Oh, my God. He's an asshole. Whoa. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, she's beautiful. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan nice to meet you, Jordan. So you wear sneakers to the beach? Um, actually, With socks? All right, listen, I was going to wear my birds. Like, I, I was like actually uh, coming here from far, but I appreciate okay. you giving back, though. I mean, I was No, just, honestly, I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and that's so valid. You yeah. should. Yeah. It was Honest. nice to meet you. Very nice meeting you. And I hope you had fun. I know, right? Now it's like, now it's getting tough. Okay. Yeah, now that you're out, it's getting really tough. <laughs> my decision with you was easy. I'm going to be honest. Thank you. Can we get a drum roll? Like, can we get something going here? Like, this is- Bro, we know who They're you're gonna pick. This is, this is like prime reality TV. Uh, but I'm gonna have to eliminate contestant number one. And it's an honest- That is not I what I expected. When I say it's nothing personal, it is not. It is fully just because- Cause I stopped on the boardwalk. You stopped on the boardwalk. I can't, I can't, I'm a busy man, I can't. I'm a busy man, I write poetry, I model, I do other things, math, math and stuff, algebra one. I'm a pro at algebra one. I don't have time to listen to that, I'm yeah. sorry. Stride. Oh, she's a certified Hi. baddie. Oh, what's your name? Good, Desiree. Desiree. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you, Max. Nice yes. nice to meet you. Honestly, you had great answers all around. Thank you, yeah, and I had a feeling, I was like, but I'm listening to that mixtape though. I you you would listen it. to it. Yeah. No, and I, I respect it. Yeah. Like, that's that's your hustle, and exactly. you got to keep that's at it. That's your hustle? Thank you. Nice huh? to meet you. It is God, all body. This is getting serious. It's not. I don't know. Like, is this it? Do we have, like, a, a minister here? Like, <laughs> what's happening? Like, okay. I'm so ready. Let's do it. Hello. How are we? Hi. What's your name? I'm saying. Oh, we're going for a hug. Okay. <laughs> that, look at her face. That face is awesome. Holy shit. I absolutely love that. Oh my God, dude. Oh, we're going for a hug. <laughs> I've been going for a hug. Oh, it's sorry. Like, it's okay. Okay. You I, were behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well. Overall, it came into you were like, you did engineering, right? I did, yeah. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah. I like that too. I mean, I'm in STEM. Okay, and yeah, that's okay. what like, I think that's always a great quality to have in someone, right? All of you guys were wonderful people. Yeah, you got lucky. I got lucky. <laughs> That's the confidence I need. No, you got Beautiful. lucky with everyone here. Oh, that's I thought, what I meant. I thought, not with me. No, no, you no, should. No, no. I, I was loving the confidence. No, Keep that no, ball no, rolling. I'm not sure, that's sure. Good. But I meant like all these girls were really I, amazing. Ooh. 
We're thinking what? Paris. We're thinking Rome. Where are we going? We're thinking ice cream shop at 9 p.m. because it's non-committal. <laughs> Beautiful. You're not committing. You're not committing. Yeah, I pulled my swim trunks down enough so that you can see my pubis maximus. But uh, <laughs> she's like, yeah, can we just fucking get Ben and Jerry's and go each other separate ways? Uh, yeah. A lot easier, a lot less time. Right, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going out of the country though. What? But, like tonight? Where? <laughs> to Cambodia. Cambodia? What are you doing, Cambodia? <laughs> I'm from there. I'm visiting. That's awesome. I'm going to Cambodia. If you want to wait two weeks, or you could come. I'm from the Cambodia. <laughs> I haven't been yet. That's like yeah, that's yeah. Nice. Okay, for sure. But no, yeah. that's awesome. You're doing this today. You're flying. Do it for the plot. Do it for the plot. <laughs> that's words to live by. Right? She rocks. Something else that I think is fascinating that I do want to try at one point. There apparently every single contestant had something called a love print right here, which I guess is Jubilee's new personality test. And I have to do this at some point. Yeah, I will. I will. That'll be for a separate video. That's pretty amazing. I absolutely want to check that out. I also think that it's funny, like while they were recording, she probably booked the trip to Cambodia after meeting him. She's like, yeah, he's going to pick me. So I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to be honest. Let's look at Max's Instagram. Let's see how hot he is. Are you already cheating on me? Oh, ew. Gross. Holy shit, man. What, what is this? Won't even let me do it. Will a mean a oh, poetry? <gasps> Fuck, we can't even read any of his poetry. No. <gasps> Damn it, I really wanted to see that. Well, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also, check out my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness. Never stop. I have a cameo. I have a second channel. I have a podcast. I have all that stuff. Please check it out. Have a great day. Bye.